Hey guys, it's John from Sarcastic Gamer here, and I'm here with Mr. Tim Willis from Ed Software. Now, what do you do at Ed, Tim? Well, I'm the uh, creative director, and uh, so I'm in charge of all things Rage. Uh, but, you know, luckily for me, I have some really talented people that work with me. So, I, it's like herding cats. You know, I, I try to keep everyone moving in the same direction, and I, I do a little cheerleading. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, uh, luckily for me, you know, I have, I have lots of talented people, and I also try to keep the team structured very flat. So, a lot of the, uh, uh, the guys have lots of input into the game. Uh, it's a very collaborative process that we go through at id, uh, and I think that actually makes for a better in product. Yeah, right. So, talk us through a bit of a rage. I mean, it's the first original IP that it has come up with in about 10 years. When did you just sort of think the time is right, we need to start coming up with something new, or did it just sort of come about? Um, well, the, uh, you know, after we finished uh, June 3, we worked on Quake 4, and, e and QET was splash damage, and John was working on a new technology. And we, we thought, you know, brand new technology, it's a lot different than what we did in the past, let's do a new IP. Um, you know, one of the things that, the, one of the biggest problems that we've had is we do have so many IPs that it's hard to actually take advantage of all of them, which is one of the reasons that we joined the Bethesda Zinemax family, which allowed us to bring our IPs back in-house and we can, you know, build second teams and things. So you'll see games coming on it much faster in the future. Uh, but, you know, Rage, brand new technology, brand new game, we're real excited about it. Uh, you know, it's at its core, it's first-person shooter, so if you're, if you're familiar with its software games, you know, it, we won't stray far from, from what we do really well, uh, but we've added things on top of it to improve the experience. It's not just a run-and-gun game. So what sort of new stuff are you bringing to Rage, then? I mean, we saw in your presentation yesterday you had, like, enemies dynamically jumping over balconies and vaulting over things. Is that, like, 100% dynamic? Can you put something in the game and say an enemy can pick this up as something they can jump over or slide under or whatever? Yeah, so um, one of the goals for Rage is each new bandit clan that you fight, and we have mutants, bandits, and the authority, each, each bandit clan has their own unique fighting style. So the Ghost Clan is, 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 is the, uh, one of the clans that we showed at, you know, for our presentation, and they have the dynamic traversables. So the level designer builds the, the level, and they need to make sure that handrails and jump heights you know, all fit into the, a group of, of heights. And it's really cool. These guys can come from anywhere. So when you play it, uh, in, in, based on what you do, they'll, they'll be coming above you, from below you, around. Uh, but what's neat, though, is, is they're the only ones that do that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, we could put it on, like, the Wasted Clan, but we decided to make those guys, you know, rougher, charge right at you and stuff. So um, it's all balance and giving variety to the gameplay. So it's not just the same experience over and over again. There's not really been a lot of, um, I've not seen a lot in, like, the way of story details. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've heard about the clans and the authority and how the whole world's destroyed after this big meteorite pounds there. Um, is there, like, a big overarching storyline you've got lined up that you've just not released a lot of details about yet? Yeah, I mean, we, uh, um, um, because we have a limited time with our presentations, and there's a lot of things in Rage that we want to show people, you know, the vehicle combat, you know, and we've actually removed the racing from the demo just to, just to kind of streamline it. Uh, you know, and we, we kind of just briefly go over the story. Uh, that's what, we don't want to give too much away, but one thing that some people have caught on to is that you as the player, you know, you're buried in, in these, these small arcs, and you are injected with these things called nanotrites. And nanotrites, is, it's part of your health region system, it's part of the HUD system, and the nanotrites actually are kind of like the glue that ties the story together as you move forward. You know, you'll uncover where the mutants came from, the mystery of that, and what the authority was doing, um, and the juxtaposition between this high-tech uh, technology that's embedded in, inside of you and the world that's recycled and destroyed and, and uh, um, can, you know, very post-apocalyptic, that, how that fits together is, is kind of, you know, the arc of the story. So it kind of sounds like it's going to start as something that's like, you know, a bunch of smaller, smaller subplots. Like, um, the, the town that you showed Wellspring in, it's a poison water supply. And that was the start of something very small, but in the end it could evolve into something kind of like pawn in a much bigger story. Kind of thing. Yes, yes, yes. After, when you come back from that mission, um, the Wellmaster actually sends you to talk to this old scientist out in the wasteland. And, uh, you know, he kind of tells you more about the authority and stuff. So it's, it, 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 it's quite kind of neat how it all ties together. I think about that about it wraps up. I mean, when is um, Rage out then? So Rage will be available uh, in uh, September 2011. 
uh, in the U.S. on the 13th, and in Europe, I think, that Thursday, I think it's like the 15th or 16th, um, you know, it'll be on all the platforms, um, 360, PS3, um, and the PC, and we're very excited about it. I think it's going to be a great game. I'm looking forward to it as well. Thanks very much to Moments for my software. Thanks.